Let us see how do you do the accounting in case there are certain guaranteed profits to a partner. Now what can happen is, let's say for example, and this will match with what we are taking as an example. Let's say there were two partners A and B. Okay. They were running their business very well, but suddenly they realized that, you know, we need a good marketing person as a manager. And there is this chap C, who's very get good into marketing. So they asked C, will you become our partner? C said, well, I might, but uh, how do I come and join you as a partner? I mean, I'm earning a particular amount and I don't want to come anywhere below that. If For a moment, instead of 50,000, this profit was 250,000. So the guaranteed profit to C was 250,000. Now what? C has got 160,000 as a share of profit. Okay. So what is this? This is actually share of actual profits right but his entitlement is how much his entitlement in terms of the agreement is 250,000 this is the revised example I'm taking right so how much short did he get shortage the shortage is what he was supposed to receive 250 so this is 90,000 so he's supposed to get 90,000 more from the firm. But what is given is it was agreed that any excess of C over his entitlement would be reduced from A and B in the ratio of 3 is to 2. <coughs> so the shortage is 90,000. And this 90,000 has to be borne by whom? By A 
and B in the ratio of 3 is to 2 or 3 fifth to fifth right. So, 3 fifth of 90,000. So, A's share is going to be what? 3 fifth of 90,000. So, you divide 90,000 into 5 parts, it is 18,000. 18,000 into 3 is 54,000. And similarly, B is 2 fifth of 90,000, 36,000. Right? Now, can you pass one single journal entry for this? No, instead of 1, let me just pass 2 and then it will be much more clearer for you. I can do it in one entry also, but that will be a little difficult. So, originally the profit and loss account will be debited by, how much was the profit? 640,000 to A to B to C and these are their capital account, right? How much? 240,000, 240,000, 160,000, right? Now, C is supposed to get 90,000 more. So, he is supposed to get a credit of 90,000. Why? Because to increase the capital, you have to credit it, right? And who is supposed to give this money? A and B. So, what ratio? A cap account by 54,000 and B by 36 account. Okay. Just remember these two entries only, it will otherwise become a little bit confusing. Right? <coughs> 